been here quite some time. Now I'm here this evening, just briefly because you know there's no light, there's nothing, and it's getting late. So I'm here this evening. I'll be discussing with you. The rise of uh, good evening. Hey, what's happening to my work? Okay, so welcome to this evening. This evening I'll be discussing briefly, very briefly. Food decrease even when every other thing is increasing. So this is certainly not a good time for farmers. Sorry, I'm using two channels and the two channels are not close to each other. And so I have to be looking up and looking up. Okay. So this evening briefly I will just be discussing okay the if notice if you've noticed if you are the type that go to the market this week or you'll be going next week, there have been a, some kind of decrease in food prices. I'm sure some people are jubilating. Yeah, it's good. Food prices are coming down, but honestly, you should be keeping your double money for the coming year. Now, let me tell you why the food prices are coming down. When, uh, thank you, when the, when the farmers, when, when we produce food, when farmers produce food and everybody was selling, the price was going up because everybody was envisaging scarcity. They were envisaging that there will be scarcity. And because there was envisaging that there may possibly be scarcity, so people were storing food, they were buying food. And companies, you know, processing companies that buy meals, that buy all this food stuff, wheat, that bought, and processing companies that have bought, that buy all these raw materials, they stock their store. You know what I mean by store? They bring in plenty of things and they stock the store. And because they've stocked the store, they don't have space to keep things now. So if you go there, take your food produce there and say, okay, I want to sell, they will offer you a low price because they are going to only buy from you if you drop the price. And that is why food prices is generally going down. The implication, what the implication is, is that uh, farmers will not be able to produce as much as they produce against the coming year. Let me give you an instance. Last year we were applying tractors for 7,000 naira. This year, tractors operators, because of diesel, because of the things, everything that have been happening, they are planning 15,000, 12,000, in some places, 20,000 per acre. Farmers that struggle to pay 7,000, you can imagine how they will be struggling to pay for this year at 15,000. That is one. The same pesticide, farmers use a lot of pesticide here, yeah, you know that. So the same pesticide that farmers are using from 3,500 jump to 5,000. Common cutlass is now from, cutlass when I go to the farm, we used to buy cutlass 400 naira, 500 naira, I remember very well. As of last year when I was buying cutlass, I bought for 4,500. As I speak right now, I learned it is about 7,000 for original cutlass. I know people in the city, you might get it a bit less or whatever. The original cutlass that will last for quite some time, 7,000 era, 6,000 era. Now, what's the way forward? Why is this so? Despite that every other thing is increasing because of the challenges and everything, food produces start coming down. I've told you, I've given you one of the reasons. Now, the reason is because our prices are not fixed. Now, if you are bringing in, if they are bringing in rice, imported rice is 50 kg. It has a fixed price. If you are bringing in chicken, imported chicken, it is a uh, package. It has a fixed price. But the food produce we produce now, the price you buy rice, a mode, starting from our measurement, our measurement does not correspond. The bags they are using in the north, in some part of the north, is different from the bags they are using in some part of the south. The bags they are using, you know, our bags measurement, that is where the problem first starts. Not the bag itself. It's actually from the general buying. As in, if you buy anything in the south, I can bet it with you if you go to the north, you are, they are going to give you another different measurement. So because the measurements are not the same, it's scattered everywhere. It obviously means the price will not, will not be the same, which is not a good thing. Because if you go anywhere, if you are buying cement, all through Nigeria, it is 50 kg. If you are buying anything, anywhere, where, wherever you are going for it, it's always the same kg. How come you are selling yam flour? It's different. You can take one small stupid bowl and be selling. You are selling gari, different, different bowls. You are selling yam, different, different measurement. It should be kg. You know, everywhere you are going from north to south to west, if you are selling yam, one kg, 100 naira, if that's what everybody is selling. So you'll be able to plan your cost your cost of production and already you know what your cost of selling will be that is why farmers in africa are not making money 
That is why farming seems a poor man's job because it is not organized. It is not. Uh, there's no legalized. There's no correct system. Now, this is what is happening before we came into come into the farm. Because we left the farm too much for the rural dwellers and they don't care, they don't know anything, they don't know much. So they sell with crude method and everything. Now that we are coming because there's no job, there's no other job and we are all coming back to the farm to take it as a job. We need to do something. That is one. Our measurement is not good at all. The second one is uh, pricing. You see, our pricing is not good. So if there's, I learned there used to be a marketing board. In those days, in those times when there was Awolowo, Kiva Awolowo, and all those people, especially in the Southwest, there used to be a marketing board. And what the marketing board does is, okay, one, they go to them, they buy, they cost the price the farmers are, like, plowing. If your plowing is 15000 per acre, you are using pesticide, four bottles per acre, you are using seed, one era per acre. You know, they know the cost of production. Then they balance the cost of production with the selling cost. So they know if a farmer could get this and this, he's already making profit. So the selling price should be this. If the company now said, no, we're not going to buy that way. We are going to buy less. The government buy and store. You know, the government buy from the farmers and store. Like this now that the price is coming down, assuming there's a marketing board, the marketing board is in between. So they scoop it up. They give farmer the money. And so when the companies finish using the one they've stored over time, they don't have a choice to buy at the government price. That is what is called market regulations. Market regulation. So what do we do? If we are to continue, do we want to continue doing this? Do we want to continue producing and not selling? Do you want to continue producing and selling at a loss? Do you want to continue not knowing? Okay, as a farmer, you know if you go to the market now, this is how much you are going to buy your pesticide, this is how much you are going to buy your chemical, this is how much you are going to buy your irrigation material. Everything has added price. So how come our food price is decreasing? Yes, I know some people might be happy, but see, it is the fair thing to do. You know, so the only best thing, there are two alternatives. I was telling somebody yesterday, I said there are two solutions to this problem. Two, which might not comfort. I'm going to give you the two solutions. The first solution is for the government to take it up, as in go back to the marketing board that it used to be. But the challenge, why it's not going to come up is that there's no government that will take it up. We don't have that kind of serious government right now as we're talking. We don't have that government that is concerned about food production because they have money to buy at whatever price or whatever. I don't know. I don't want to go into that, but you understand what I'm saying. So no government is going to come to your aid as a farmer. The second alternative that I give is for private people. Now, what private people want to invest their money in where, where they will not make money? None. So now what do we do is for farmers, real farmers that know they are going through this. You see, there's something in Nigeria. Go to everybody's, most people's timeline on Facebook. You will see, I'm a farmer, I'm a farmer, I'm a farmer. Now, when it's time to stand in for farmers, stand up for farmer, who do you see? Nobody. So I classify, we have real farmers, we have paper farmers, we have internet farmers, we have different types of farmer. But now it is not left for the real farmers to take up the challenges. How do you take up the challenges? I'm going to bring you back to something. Like I said, I'm not going to spend much time. Funny enough, it's almost 10 minutes I've been here. Okay, one, the first thing, the first instance is one, we have farmers' body. We have body leading farmers, but of, uh, honestly, I don't want to criticize them, but definitely we know they are not doing anything. So the first step I would expect everyone to do, see, people that have been saying we should form a group, we should form a group. I will tell you the implications of forming a group. I don't want to lead any group. I don't want to form any group. And I will tell you why. We have human beings are the most difficult to organize. So now that there's a group on ground, there's a, there's all farmers associations of Nigeria, Afan, there's Nigerian, there are different groups on ground. So what exactly are you doing in your own community about the groups that are available? Let me put it to you. If you say you are starting a new group, it's going to be, it will take us the next two years. We'll still be fighting and arguing and whatever. I'm not ready to do that. I have a lot of things to do. But if 
you and I, for me personally, initially I thought, what am I going to do with farmers group? I don't need to be a member. Now, this is suggestions I'm going to give everyone. You can share with your friends. You can you see, so let me tell you something. Most times when we give this kind of suggestion, you just listen and forget about it. If you don't share with people that will participate with you, we are not going to move. Both of us, me and you, we are going to remain at that same spot. We are not going to get any meaningful thing to do. So it's better you share and tell other people. Not because of me, because of everybody. Sorry, don't mind my 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 head tie. Today is Sunday and we just came back. Though I didn't go to church, but I like dressing native on Sunday. Okay, so now the next thing is what do we do? The second one, our body, the national body. The last time somebody gave me their number. Okay, I'm seeing some things here. We need this marketing board. Definitely we need the marketing board. We definitely need it, but see, we, you, me, and what cannot do marketing board. Let me give you one example. If we say we want to set up marketing board, the percentage of us that are on internet that are farming is like five percent. The percentage that are not on the that are really the, the percentage that can pull uh, innovations that can speak to the government or that can set up marketing board, eh? they are also small, but they have the power. They have the the whatever. They are not on the farm. Those are the people leading us in the farming group. So this is what I'm going to suggest for everyone. First, you need to find a farming. I'm going to, there's some, con there's some contact with me. Somebody drop on my timeline the other time about some chairman or president for some states. I have about five states. I've not called them. Yes, I've not. I thought initially what did I want to do with them, but now I know we need to do something. Guys, if you are going to be joining me, we need to get the contact of our state chairman of all farmers associations of Nigeria. Yes, every state has got somebody representing you and I as all farmers association of Nigeria. Then when we get their contact, see, when we get their contact, you are going to register to be a member. Yes, each one and all of us. Now, I will start it on my timeline. If not, I'm going to start. I'm going to call them. I'm going to do my registration. I'm going to try to seek to get all the other contacts and post it on my timeline for people that want to. You have to become a member. Ask me why. Yes, they are doing, they're not doing anything. But they are already a body. They are already a system. So we want to use their system to be able to achieve something. There's possibility that maybe because they don't know what to do. Maybe because we are not suggesting what to do. Maybe because some of them are not farming and they don't know what we feel or we are going through in the farm. But if we join them, they will be able to tell them, okay, Oga, can we do this? Can we do this? Then we can suggest our own opinion rather than staying online and giving opinions and not going anywhere. I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope I'm making some sense. Okay, so I am going to join and I will employ you, I will beg you, I will plead with all of us to start joining now. Yes. Now, one, the first step is joining a farmer's group, preferably all farmers association of Nigeria. Now, when we join this group, we are not just going to be a sleeping partner. It's, uh, see, excuse me, it's, if I said we should form a new group, like I told you, we'll first start with bringing people, we'll start with registration, we'll start with, you know, bringing constitution. I've registered a lot of group before and I know how it's filled. So I would prefer we join the existing group. Now, when we are joining the, see, I'm being sincere with you. So when we join the existing group, we note the date of their meetings. We are all going to be attending meetings. Then when we attend meeting, whatever you bring from the meeting, we can now form our own group. The instruction information we bring from there, from our, we now sit down in our own group and say, okay, guys, when as you are going for your meeting, suggest this, suggest this. So we'll all go back to their meeting, to our the meeting, and suggest, sir, can we do this? Sir, can we do this? We may even come in and tell them, okay, sir, can we form a youth group? So it will now be all farmer association of nigeria youth chapter you know because we'll be going with their name they are recognized with the government they are represent so that they won't feel we're not going there to fight them we're not going there to displace them we're not, i don't know if you guys understand <laughs> because if you say okay we want to go there we want to form our group no it will take years before you get recognized it will take time it will take a lot of things but we have to join the body that are existing joining the body that are existing you have to be a full member then we can now create our own group and from our own group we discuss okay this is what we want to do imagine if in your own in each state if you have hundred hundred of us in each state in those groups 
they will come together as a body and then okay guys this is what we want to do we want to suggest to the group we'll go and suggest to them it would be funny to them when in my group in Oyo state I went to their meeting and I tell them this is what we should do, this is what we should do. And right as I'm telling them, somebody has in Ogun State, somebody has in Anambra State is telling their group too. This is, and then you know their presidents, they meet sometimes, they relate, you understand? And then they get to find ah, why are these people coming to join us and they are suggesting almost the same thing. They are suggesting the same thing. You understand? So it's from there we can start pulling things, pulling strings. Now you know these things I'm saying can only be done by farmers, real farmers that want progress for themselves, not just somebody that want to make money in two days and uh, you know all these quick uh, people that just want to quickly recover their money as in I want to spend 100 naira and make 200 naira in two minutes. It is not. It's not a get. I don't know if you understand. So if you are here with me on this, then we, that is the only basis by which we can get a group. We can have a group. Without that, we cannot have a group. This is what me I'm suggesting. This is what I think is my opinion. If you have a suggestion, you can drop it in the box like I told you. I just quickly, I don't know if you longer have been online. I just, I've been live like this. I just felt, let me throw this out. Let's see if some of us will key into it. But for me, like I said, I'll be calling those state chairmans when I have their number. I also plead with them to give me some other state chairmans number. From there, if we have a youth group, from the youth group, we'll be able to do something and then we can start bringing our own innovation that one we will have bypassed the issue of registration registering a new body will have bypassed the issue you know and we'll be bringing innovation and we'll let them understand you i don't know if you guys understand that's the only way and then we can now look at marketing board we can say ah baba and sometimes if we start telling them what we think they should do the possibility is that they don't know that's the next thing to do because they never think in that direction and they, they've never thought about it. And sometimes most of them are not even farmers, you know, they are political farmers, you know, you know, that kind of thing. So we that are farmers are the one bearing the bronze. And see, if you want to change something, you start from the underground. Yeah, I'm going to find out. Somebody is asking me, how do we join Afan? I will do, I will take it up as my home job. I'm going to find out how to join Afan. Like I said, I have some state chairman's number. Somebody dropped on my timeline. I've not bothered to call them, but now I'm going to call them. I'm going to call. I have the Ogun State, Oyo State, Oshun State, Ondo, Ekiti. I think I'm going to call them up. Then I will from them try to see if I can get some other states. We have 36 states. Uh, I'm not sure the Northerns will want to join for now but it's fine so we get i will get information back to you on my timeline or through a, just you know me i always get information out so that people can join now maybe by the time we join we can now create a group is only the group is going to be for only people that are in farmers group i'm being sincere with you guys we want serious people we can now join some group or create some group we have people in farmers group from there we can start making little little changes from there the little changes can become a big one but we cannot start from the top i want to change things no we have to start from home so if you are here with this like the afan all farmers Association of nigeria i know afan comprises of every farmers group whether you are livestock whether you are anything anything it comprises of everybody so i think that's where we should start because the marketing board is affecting everybody the cost of selling is affecting everybody i don't know maybe i think it affects everybody we don't have fixed price we don't have fixed price of anything you just you know you buy things at fixed price but you get to sell at you can't even predict. you can farmers if you do projections you can really not say this is what i'm expecting because you can't predict what the market is. but if there's a fixed price okay look at indomie when indomie if indomie nodules all these nodules or whatever if they are selling 17 naira, everybody knows it's 17 naira. if coca-cola is selling 700 naira, everybody knows it's 100 naira. now they've increased block price everybody accepts it like that but you know farmers produce you instead because it's the company that dictates now there's another thing i'm putting into factor and i know why it is difficult for farmers to easily why it's difficult for farmers to easily adapt into that system i will tell you a lot of farmers have uh, a lot of farmers have um, low financial capacity because a lot of farmers have low financial capacity it is it's kind of when you say don't sell as a surprise they find it difficult not to hold on because they need that money at that instant so having a farmers group what a farmers group can do is if there's a a network okay if you're in a group and everybody is contributing even if it is 500 naira every month 
if there's a farmer that needs money and he has a big bag of maize or a big bag or four goats or something you can ask him not to sell and give him that financial things in return with when you have uh, people that are standing for him guarantors the guarantors must also be farmers group yeah the guarantors must also be farmers group as in, in you know that kind of thing that is the only way price can be stabilized not when somebody is suffering for money is suffering because he has farm produce he need to sell and uh, and and you are telling him to hold on because of the price so there's a lot of work to do but like i said you need to first join the farmers group everybody needs to belong to a farmers network now i'm not talking of fish or livestock or everything i'm talking of a general farmers network if you start splitting everybody into fish into goat into crop into everything we won't have much so I would is prefer is better we have one common body. All farmers association of Nigeria represent a common body. I think that is where we should start from. If you now have the interest, look for your specific crop and then you can join them. Like the basis for this, why this come up is because of the marketing board. Ma I told you. I will, I've been reading about the marketing board because I keep hearing marketing board. And what marketing board do in those times is that, okay, they, they, they go to the market, like I said, they cost every other thing. They know the cost, the selling price. They know the cost price. Then they are able to decide the selling price. And they feel if every farmer could get this price, they are okay. They've made profit and they fix a price. Just like the way Indomie fix their price, all other products are fixing their price. Fertilizer is fixed price. When I mean fixed price, it means it's not that when everything is increasing some company will just be threatening you and say okay if you can sell at also price and because farmers don't have more so if there's a fixed price that nobody can go below they rather go higher so i don't know if you understand what i'm saying these are all just suggestion guys nobody send me i'm just sharing with you so if you think it can't work or if you think you want to key into the system like i said we are not starting any new group we need to first get ourselves to join old groups that are existing let's see how we can renovate it or how we can revolutionize it sorry don't mind my english so let's see how we can put in something you have ideas i have ideas then from there if we all go into the groups in our various states or in our various whatever and then we're able we can now in within the group we can change some things that's my suggestion this evening guys so we'll be calling it a day like i told you i just come in i was even thinking i'll spend just 10 minutes and i've spent 20 minutes so if you have suggestion if you have any other thing let me just briefly those people that wrote something okay how do we join a fan yes like i said i promise i'm going to i'm going to look into that i'm going to find out and get back to everybody it is well with farmers no prayer will not do this we need to take action prayers will not do it i'm done praying we need this marketing ball though things have been the same price from the farm for over five years exactly you still get to the market to sell cucumber for five thousand for three thousand one five per bag yet you are buying seed at twenty thousand per ten gram or per hundred gram you are buying tomato twenty uh, fifty thousand per hundred gram yet you are selling at any price so we need to fix some things and also the people selling seed for us i don't have their time yet i'm coming to deal with seed sellers we want quality seed. Imagine I bought somebody brought seed from me from from Thailand, plus the same company that is producing for the Thailand people, and the same company brought their seeds I bought. The one that was produced for Nigeria is not productive as much as the one that was brought from Thailand. The one they are using in their town in Thailand. So seed sellers, we are coming to meet you, but let's first start with our wala for. So fish farmers have active association. Like I said, those are we think. I think we should start from all farmers association first. Then, well done, Matt. Thank you. And they easily come together to regulate price of their fish when the feed price goes up. Yes, that's a good one. Okay. Except you guys, except you guys, I said we should go for crop. I won't be able to go for crop because I do a lot of vegetables. So which crop will I sit down with? Okay. You didn't make sense. Well, okay. How do we join a farm? Yes, we'll find out. Uh, fish farmers have active. Okay, I think I've read this. So, uh -huh. so guys. Today, so we meet some other time again, and uh, if you have, you can drop comments there. I'll respond to some of them, and we can meet some other time again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.